Hi everyone, I am Chandler Christoffel. I am user experience librarian at University of Georgia Libraries. Um, I wrote the article about the Capturing Science contest. So the contest came out of conversations we were having at the Science Library about how to engage students uh, in, in STEM communication. And we thought a lot about what format would, would best facilitate this. And we were totally satisfied with some of the traditional formats, photo contests or, or um, essay, essay contests. So we decided, you know what, let's just kind of go anarchist about it and uh, ask students to communicate a STEM concept using any format, media, genre, whatever of their choosing. And, uh, the contest is now in its fourth year and it's been a success. And uh, I wanted to write about uh, my experience coordinating the contest. So uh, in the article, I talk about you know, the background leading up to the contest, how we promote it, uh, how we administer it. And a big part of that administration is the judging of the contest. And it's really fun to judge. Uh, we get judges from across the libraries uh, to bring different perspectives, not just STEM. And uh, we get to look at all these cool entries uh, from board games to works of fiction to uh, lesson plans to animated tutorials, the list kind of goes on and on. Uh, but it's also a challenge to, to judge um, and evaluate all these disparate formats with very different strategies uh, and techniques for communicating STEM. But every year we find a way to do it, so <laughs> it ends up working out. And in the article, I also talk about um, some changes that are upcoming for the contest that we're either making now or at least considering uh, both to the guidelines and also to the, the prize structure. One thing that we're doing differently this year is we're offering a special prize um, to the student who engages most successfully in um, uh, the topics of either COVID-19 or racial and ethnic justice as they, as they relate to STEM. And so we're really curious what will come out of that. Um, so I, I hope you enjoy the article. I hope it's fun to read. I hope you get something out of it. Even if you're not doing a contest, I, I think there's some interesting ideas in there about outreach and STEM communication. Uh, I'm also really curious what you think about libraries doing this kind of contest. You know, it isn't your traditional research contest. And so I can imagine some people saying, you know, is this the library's role? Is it better done by other um, units uh, uh, in, in our higher ed context on campus? And, uh, you know, I think about that a fair amount. And so I'd be curious what you think about, you know, why libraries uh, should or should not be uh, engaging in these kind of contests. All right, thanks a lot.